What if you had $100,000 to buy a single motorcycle? What if you had 200,000, three, maybe a million dollars, and your objective was to buy a single bike? What would you get? Today, we will try to answer that most ridiculous of questions by looking at the seven most expensive motorcycles ever sold. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video from your lord, gummy dude, Hammy Lube, the Yammy Noob, here today to guide you through those bikes. It's important to note that there are thousands of motorcycles that could be touted as one of the most expensive bikes in the world. Okay, maybe not thousands, but certainly hundreds. So if I missed one you think deserves to be on the list, let me know in the comments. To help narrow our otherwise massive list down, the seven most expensive motorcycles featured in this video have been selected using these three criteria. None of the bikes could be used exclusively for racing, so no MotoGP specific bikes since those are one-off motorcycles costing well over $1.5 million a piece. To be considered, all bikes had to be made within the last 25 years, so none of those sweet antique gootsies, even if they are beautiful. And no concepts were permitted during the making of this list. Think no animals were harmed in the making of this movie. While concept pieces are fun to look at, dream about, and drool all over the showroom floor, it's pretty impossible to put an accurate price tag on them if they were never produced, which is why all of the bikes on this list have been produced and listed for sale, even if it was for an extremely limited number. We'll be counting up to the most expensive motorcycles, so Stick around until the end to see which bike topped the list. And be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all future posts. We're doing big things here at Yami Noob and you're going to want to be a part of it. Huge shout out to Bridge Wallets for supporting the channel. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about them at the end of this video. Without further ado, let's check out some sex on wheels that none of us can afford but all of us can drool over. Our first contender will be familiar to those who enjoy watching my content. It's none other than number one, the 2008 AEM Carbon Fiber Hayabusa. The Hayabusa has held the title for fastest production motorcycle for almost 20 years. You can get a basic version of one of these babies pretty regularly for around 20 grand. But things got real when Suzuki dumped all the heavy metals it possibly could from the traditional frame and replaced them with carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is the driving factor. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> So the Hayabusa dumped the metal, swapped them for carbon fiber, and that's the primary reason for the increase in price for most of the high-end sport bikes out there. And many riders will even take it a step further and opt for carbon fiber parts or fairings, but the AEM carbon fiber Hayabusa has carbon fiber everything. Literally everything. And while it may not be the most patrician of Busas, aka the Craigslist Special Turbo Busa, it still deserves an honorable mention. This beauty is the stuff all sport bike enthusiasts dream of, and she starts off our list at $200,000. So you can buy a house, or you can get this all carbon Busa. I think the choice is clear. Up next is a bike Euro snobs will be most familiar with. Number 2. The Ducati Desmo Sedici D16RR NCR M16. Wow. The NCR is known for taking high-end bikes and pushing the limits even further. The original Ducati Desmo Sedici RR runs for about 73 grand and its performance is nothing to scoff at. There's a reason you see Ducatis at track days all over the world. But NCR took the performance to an 11 when they stripped the original Desmo Sedici down and replaced everything with carbon fiber. Hmm, two bikes in and carbon fiber is already trending. Millennials, am I right? What's next, a carbon fiber vape pen? Do they have those? Of course they do. The remodeled NCR M16 is 100% built for speed. The load bearing parts, fuel tank, fairings, fenders, and tail are all carbon fiber. The frame on this thing is carbon fiber. Even the bolts were replaced with either titanium or avionic grade aluminum. Avionic grade aluminum, that's some serious stuff. They were not screwing around when they set out to increase the performance of an already powerful machine. A standard MotoGP bike weighs in at about 330 pounds, and the M16 weighs at 319 pounds. So how much is this featherweight going to cost you? A measly $232,500, which is pocket change compared to the next set of wheels on our list. Number 3. The Ecosi MotoWorks FETI XX At $300,000 eye-watering dollars, the Ecosi MotoWorks FETI XX is the most expensive of the Ecosi Titanium series. How many beater Craigslist bikes can you buy for the price of one of these bad boys? Literally hundreds. You could buy 200 Honda Hornets for the price of one of these bikes. And I would know since I spent 1500 bucks on mine. Ecosi is known for creating luxury masterpieces, so it's no surprise that they'd showed up in this list. Only 13 of the FETI XX models were produced, so even though it's got a custom handcrafted leather saddle designed by Italian leather maker Berluti, it's unlikely you'll ever find out just how comfortable that saddle is for a good ride. This is definitely one of the more muscly looking bikes on this list, which segues nicely to number four. Number four, 
the Harley-Davidson Cosmic Starship. Unveiled in 2010, the Cosmic Starship originally sold for $1 million. $1 million. $1 million. Uh, Lord Rossi, please save us. There are claims that the Starship has since been sold for 3.5 million, now it's up to 12 million, but since hasn't been sold at that official price yet, we're gonna stick it on the list at the last confirmed price of $1 million. Aside from big, I'm not sure that's a strong enough word. Let's try something else. Aside from the giant price tag that comes attached to anything labeled Harley Davidson, the Cosmic Starship fetches such a high price not because of the bike itself, but because of the paint job. That's right the paint job. It is the Mona Lisa of motorcycles. The original Harley-Davidson V-Rod is priced at a standard 18 grand, which means that the paint job is worth a lot of dough, $982,000 to be exact. The bike was painted by famous existentialist artist Jack Armstrong, and for those who don't know, existentialists are pro-freedom, pro-individualism, and all for creating your own meaning in life. That's your yammy lesson for the day. With the paint job being the primary point of investment, this is one bike you probably don't want to use as your daily rider. But as highfalutin as this Harley may be, our next bike is three times the price. Which brings us to number five, the BMS Nemesis. Originally produced in 2007, the BMS is the epitome of luxury. Why? Well, because of all that fancy yellow glitter and detailing that is actually quite literally 24 karat gold. That's right, this bike is literally covered in gold. Some might even say that it's worth its weight in gold. Huh. Okay, I've exceeded the limit for bad jokes you can reasonably put in one video. The BMS Nemesis offers yet another fancy paint job to deter you from purchasing this as your daily rider. Well, that and the $3 million price tag. But to ride something that looks like a space age shrimp covered in gold? Well, that's priceless, my dude. Surprisingly, the gold paint job isn't the coolest thing about the Nemesis. The Nemesis is an air ride system and a single sided swing arm that lifts and lowers the bike to and from the ground so it doesn't even need a side stand. And that makes this space shrimp a pretty cool ride. Up next is another Ecosi, so girdle your loins. Number six, the Ecosi Spirit ES1. God damn. Just looking at this bike makes me want a cigarette, and I don't even smoke. The Ecosi Spirit was originally a concept bike, and before you go all rulesy jones on me about not allowing concept bikes on the list, the Ecosi Spirit was eventually produced in extremely limited quantities. In fact, only 10 were sold. And don't you worry about the boys over at Ecosi going without anything, because just one of these Spirit ES1s fetched $3.6 million. All 10 of the motorcycles were sold upon production, so if those cats never sold another thing, in their lives, they'd be sitting pretty. So what makes the Spirit worth so much? Design. Unlike the previous models on our list that were priced via an art valuation or the current value of gold, the Spirit was designed for one thing, to kick ass and take names. The engineers for the Spirit modeled the bike after Formula One race cars. It also doesn't have a chassis framework, which means this might be the most high-tech bike on our list. But how does a bike with no framework? It's pretty simple, really. The swing arm and the rear suspension attach to the gearbox, and the front suspension attaches directly to the engine. There's a lot more mechanical dirty talk we could get into, but it's time to move on to the next bank robber on our list. Number seven, the Neiman Marcus Limited Edition Fighter. Yes, you heard me correctly. No, you did not have a stroke, unless you did, which in that case, Yami Noob is not a licensed physician and should not be trusted with any medical diagnoses. But yes, Neiman Marcus produced a limited edition fighter that is absolutely breathtaking in all its steampunk glory. Neiman Marcus produced 45 of these bikes and originally priced them at $110,000, which is not cheap by a long shot, but also isn't even high enough to land it on our number one spot. So what gives? The last confirmed sale of a Neiman Marcus limited edition fighter was for $11 million. That's some serious appreciation and value. That is absolutely crazy. And that wraps up today's video, my dudes. If you liked the video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for more. Go ahead and ring the bell to get notifications anytime there's some new Yammy Noob coming up on your feed. I'll be posting two of these videos per week now, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. A special shout out to our newest sponsor, Ridge Wallets. These guys are amazing. They sent over several wallets for me to check out, and I am seriously digging them. They're minimal, sleek, and affordable, and they've got some pretty sweet RFID blocking technology. But if you're not into that sort of thing, you can always test their 
their bulletproof construction out instead. If you click the link in the description below and use the code YAMI at checkout, you can get yourself 10% off your order. And while that might not be enough to cover the cost of any bike on this list, it certainly does help you get some of the way there. Yami Noob does not support any stupid ideas you decide to try out based on that bulletproof comment, by the way. If you haven't already, don't forget to roll on over to the Beginner Bike Build series in the link below and find out how you can win a free CB900. That's right, I'm giving away a free motorcycle. Check it out, cast your votes for our next mod, and hang out on our cool new Discord server. I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you wonderful folks in the comments. Fact. Snakes can predict earthquakes up to five days before they happen, from 75 miles away. I guess all that time on their bellies is good for something. Goodbye.